Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a heat map using conditional formatting in Excel. A heat map is a powerful data visualization tool where values are formatted by color. In our example, we're comparing the average temperatures for January to December across six years. Right now, we just have a set of numbers and it's difficult to quickly determine which years and months were hotter than others. By applying a heat map, we can overcome this and quickly identify the variations in temperature. We'll also cover how to hide the numbers and show just the colors, and also how to vary the color formats of our heat map. To create our heat map, we're going to use the conditional formatting tool. Firstly, we'll select all the individual temperature records. We'll then go into the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting, and then click Color Scales. We can then choose one of the color formats that Excel provides. Since we have temperatures, we want a red color to reflect hotter temperatures and a blue color to reflect colder ones. So we'll select this option here. As you can see, Excel has applied a red shade to hotter months and a blue shade to colder ones. If we want to apply a custom color format, we can do this easily by clicking conditional formatting and then clicking manage rules. We can then select our rule and click edit rule. Let's say that for the lowest value, we want green instead of blue. We can change this color here. Now when we click OK, our colder months will become green. Therefore, you can apply any color format of your choice. However, I think the previous format was more relevant for our example. Another trick we'll cover is how to hide the numbers and just show the colors. To do this, we're going to select all the numbers, right click, and then click Format Cells. We'll go into the Custom tab and remove what's currently there. We'll replace this with three semicolons. This is a trick which will hide the numbers in the cells while still maintaining the formatting. If we click on any of the cells, you can see that the number is still showing in the formula bar, but is no longer visible. So that's how you can create a heat map in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.